I built a new outside shower head for my Arctic Fox truck camper using a combination of parts from Home Depot and an RV supply store. So let's follow along and check it out. This is the outside shower enclosure. So we open up this little door and we've got two faucets and a little quick disconnect. So Arctic Fox and some other camper manufacturers commonly use this for their outside shower connection. So I'll show you the hose that comes with the camper. It's a blue coiled hose with a quick disconnect fitting on the end. And you just plug it in. And then the hose also includes a nozzle. This is not the nozzle that came with the camper. I added this nozzle because it's nice and easy to grip, kind of a rubberized handle. And then this system works really good for washing off your pets, cleaning their feet, or if you're down on a hike or something and want to wash off your feet before you get inside of the camper you can do that and it works really good as an outdoor shower in general so what I usually do when I'm using it is I hook the nozzle over here on my jack now of course the camper is off the j truck right now so my jack is folded out usually this jack would be swung in towards the front but I would still have the bracket there to be able to hang that nozzle on well, it gets kind of cumbersome trying to hold the hose with one hand, and washing off and everything with the other hand, and still have some water flow. So I found a solution for that, and I'll show you here the parts that I used to build this new shower head. So here's the parts that I've got. 45 degree, a shower head, quick disconnect fitting that has a garden hose style connector on the other end, and a little fitting that uh, converts a garden hose fitting to shower head fitting, and then a small hose extension with an anti-kink thing in it. So this is the second batch of parts that I bought. The first batch consisted of this, this, and this, but then this guy and this guy were just off-the-shelf pieces that I bought from Home Depot, and I think both of them had a shutoff valve. Well, later I realized that I don't need a shutoff valve, plus those parts from Home Depot aren't NSF rated, meaning they aren't okay to use for potable water. Now it's not like a person's going to be drinking their shower water, but anyway. So I found these at an RV store and they were actually a little bit less expensive than the parts that I bought from Home Depot. So we'll start with the shower head. It has a nice little uh, shutoff valve so you can control the flow of water with that. And then I believe that this is ever built is Home Depot's house brand. It's an LFA 677, so it's a three quarter inch pipe thread for garden hose, and then half inch over here. Take that out and take a quick, quick look at it. So this part does include a hose washer in there. And then we just screw this on to our shower head. doesn't need to be super tight because there is also a washer inside there and then here's our hose extension and I've already put the hose gasket in there so then we take this part this is Phoenix faucets it's an RV brand product Phoenix is a division of Valterra we just screw these two pieces together. If you wanted to use a wrench on this, you could. Then we take the 45 out. It's also got a screen with the hose washer built in. Thread those together. And then thread these two together. And there we are. So this will actually swivel. So it's not really important to get this lined up how you want. As far as the orientation of the flow control valve. But there we have it. This is going to be a little bit lighter weight than it would have been if I bought the pieces and used them from Home Depot. Because that part from Home Depot had great big rubber ends on both ends. Plus the big shutoff valve in the middle. 
The same thing with the 45 that I had bought from Home Depot. Total cost on it came out to about $30. A lot of truck camper owners may never use the outside shower, but if you go swimming in a lake or if you go to the beach and play in the ocean or if you're out doing some on-road, off-road motorcycle riding and you get all dusty or, for example, if you have a side-by-side -side or a UTV and you go out running trails and you come back and all dusty, it's nice to be able to change into a pair of shorts and then rinse all that dust and nastiness off before you go inside and use the indoor shower. That way you don't wash a bunch of sand and mud and junk down into your gray tank. Just hose off outside and then you're good to go for getting cleaned up the inside. Nice thing about this is you can control the flow of water. You can get it all washed up two-handed instead of having to hold on to, to this hose nozzle over here that's hanging up on the jack. That's a pretty nice mod actually. And you wouldn't even have to use this hose extension. You could just as easily um, delete this hose extension and maybe use just a short shutoff valve, which would of course shorten this up by about two inches. As you can see, there is a little bit of flex there, but that's kind of to be expected with this little spring doodad on this hose. But at least with this, it gets it probably about six or seven inches out away from the camper. Here it is from a side view. It's So the shower head itself is probably close to 10 or 12 inches out away from the camper. So that's pretty much equivalent or maybe just a little bit more than you would have as far as spacing out from the wall in your home shower. But I think this is gonna work out really good. The shower head is oriented a lot lower than it would be if the camper was on the truck. If it was on the truck, it would be perfect height and it would be right up at about this level.